protect your mind and your heart. Philippians 4, 6 says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. What does that little passage of scripture tell us? That little passage of scripture tells us we shouldn't be anxious for anything because as we build up the anticipation in our own selves, we, we become impatient. We become impatient in our own self-timing. We, we, we tell ourselves that we want this and we want that right now, right here. And we become impatient in those things. The Lord tells us, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, meaning everything that we want, we should ask of the Lord. And the Bible teaches us, ask and you shall receive. But if your asking is not righteous and is not in the perfect will of God, then you're not going to receive what it is that God is telling and and you're asking him for. I can ask the Lord for a million dollars, but Lord knows if I had a million dollars, I probably wouldn't be a very good Christian. I'd go out and spend it in ways I probably shouldn't because I would want my own selfish ambition. There's things that we ask of God sometimes that are done in selfish ambition. So the Lord teaches us in this passage of scripture to not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving. We have to be thankful for what it is that we have now. Whatever you have now, you ought to be thankful to the Lord for what you have. Grateful for what you have and ask the Lord for things. It's okay to ask God for things. It's okay to ask him for anything you want. But sometimes we have to look at our very own hearts to see why we are asking God what it is we're asking for from him. Why we're asking him what we're asking him. So we have to trust in the Lord and we have to seek the Lord and we have to make sure that our prayers and our askings are righteous before the Lord. Today, if you're asking God for something, don't be anxious about what you're asking him, but take it before him in true prayer and search your heart and ask yourself and ask God, and what I asking you, Lord, is that what you truly have planned for me? It says, take it up in prayer and petition it. You can petition it before the Lord. We we know that people have petitioned the Lord before. We we know that those petitions have gone before the Lord because you have to continually ask God. God wants to see your true heart. God wants to see that that you're searching him truly. It says by prayer and petition with thanksgiving Present your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. See, if we petition these things, we don't leave room for the enemy to come in and begin to stir things up here in our minds. He, he likes to come in and stir things up in our minds and tell us that we're not worthy. We, we, we shouldn't be asking God for these things. We shouldn't be asking God for the healing. We shouldn't be asking God for the blessing. We shouldn't be asking God for these things that, that, that we know God has planned for us. So today, don't be anxious in your life, but begin to petition God for those things that you need changing. Begin to petition the Lord for those things that you need to change in your lives. Whatever the circumstance, whatever the situation, begin to petition the Lord. Begin to take your request before the Lord. Let us begin to be a people who will petition the Lord. Amen. We got to petition so that our minds and our hearts will be guarded. Because if we pray and we seek the Lord, our hearts and our minds and everything that we do will be guarded against the enemy and the lies of the enemy. The enemy wants to tell you you're not worthy, but I'm telling you you're worthy in Christ Jesus. You are worthy in Christ Jesus. You are an amazing person in Christ Jesus. God has plans for each one of us and each one of you. Today, don't be anxious, but pray, seek, fast, understand, listen, heed to the voice of God and what he's calling you today, because God has a mighty plan. God has a, a protection for you that he would protect your heart and your mind. So today, Father God, I pray for those watching this video today, Lord, that you would seek and you would touch their minds. You would touch their hearts. You would protect their mind and their heart against the enemy in the name of Jesus, that you would protect them today, that you would, Lord, lift them up, that they would not be anxious, but they would search out your blessings. They would search out those things, Lord, that you have for them. Because, Father God, I believe that you are still a God of miraculous things. And that, Lord, you will seek and you will provide for our every need. 
For Father God, I know that you are great and I know that you are good. So today, believe in the Lord Jesus. Today, believe in the plan he has for you and don't be anxious. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.